Welcome back, everyone, to the Paladin Wrestling Super Bowl Halftime Show. Uh, I know that we're kind of going to be almost running out of time before the uh, game starts back up, but let me tell you, folks, the Patriots, they've already got this thing. I mean, they're already up, and they've been a team that if they get behind, they come back. I mean, I think pretty much the Super Bowl was the Ravens-Patriots game, and unfortunately the Ravens... They blew their opportunity to go to another Super Bowl, and really, it was trickery and trick plays, so I'm not going to go into a whole football rant right now, because that's not what this next match is about. This match is about the Jewel Championship, and basically with the controversy that surrounded the Jewel Championship after the season finale, this match needed to happen, and there, here comes... The current Jewel Champion, Goth Girl. And Goth Girl went through a hellacious scrambler match to win that championship. And now tonight, she has to put it on the line in her first defense against Claire. And Goth Girl, she's had quite a career in Valley Young Wrestling, winning the Jewel Championship quite a few times. And I believe she was even Jewel Tag Team Champions with Charade a few times. But Goth Girl getting her chance to impress and Goth Girl right now as it stands seems to be aligned with Dark Leader as she's under some type of a spell. I know Brutal Impact, they've tried to free Goth Girl, but unsuccessfully. That dark magic though is so strong, so powerful, that Dark Leader possesses it's hard to break any kind of spell. And I should know. Uh, basically, with the battles I've had with Dark Leader and his group, and basically the XD, we've had many battles with Dark Leader and his uh, group. But here comes Claire, and Claire wearing her Ultimate Surrender Tag Team title. Maybe, maybe Claire will have the same luck as Destiny, or maybe not. Who knows? We'll have to just wait and see. Claire showboating a little bit, but there are no fans in the arena. They are probably staying warm at home watching the Super Bowl, or some are probably even at the big game. But nonetheless, I guess Vicious Vixen is going to be the special guest referee for this matchup. And I think the board of directors felt it would be a good idea to have special guest referees for some of the matches tonight because the referees, they want to sit in the back and watch the Super Bowl. I know they've got their potato chips out. People probably got the potato chips. They're, uh, they probably have ordered pizza and all this other stuff. And a lot of the stuff that happens during halftime is people need to take a break and unwind a little bit. And <clears throat> Claire looks like she's Trying to get the upper hand. Goth Girl fighting back though here in this matchup. Goth Girl wants to prove once and for all to Claire that she is the rightful and deserving Jewel Champion. And a face buster right there to Claire. And Claire is starting to feel the effects as Goth Girl now going at it with those elbows right to the back of the head of Claire. And Goth Girl is just seemingly right now wearing Claire out. As Goth Girl celebrating, <clears throat> but there are no fans here to pump her up as Vicious Vixen is starting a count. Claire gets right back in the ring, but Claire's got to be careful in this match. Claire is not the Jewel Champion, and I don't think that this is a no DQ match as Claire has that steel chair, but Claire's got to be careful. She gets herself disqualified here. She loses this matchup, and Goth Girl would retain as Vixen telling Claire that she can't use the steel chair. As now, wait a second, Goth Girl takes down Vicious Vixen, and Vicious Vixen has had enough, and she calls for the bell. Claire wins the match by disqualification. Goth Girl arguing, and wait a second, the board of directors has just said this match must restart. They want a clear-cut winner. So Claire gets an automatic rematch after what just transpired. 
and she can't be pleased the way that oh and goth girl her back slammed into that turnbuckle post Claire takes her down and goth girl now Claire is not too happy about winning the match oh by DQ as she kicks the head of goth girl nearly kicked goth girl's head right off of her shoulders and now Claire going to work on a leg Claire was is not happy that she did not win the Jewel Championship, but she gets that rematch, and now I think she's going to make Goth Girl pay for getting disqualified. And if you're if you're Goth Girl, that was a smart smart strategy. But the board of directors too uh, too quick on on that. They didn't want any kind of shenanigans to go down in this Jewel Championship. They want a clear cut winner. And you know what would have happened probably had Claire just won this match on DQ. There would have been so many questions. When would Claire get her rematch? The board of directors does not want all those unanswered questions. They want this all to come to a head here tonight. And fans shouldn't be oh shouldn't be shortchanged on a halftime show with a bogus uh, finish like that. As now Claire is really putting the really putting it to, to goth girl <clears throat> and Claire just oh with a clothesline Claire just really wants that title belt back in the worst way as oh she misses that high risk maneuver and now a cover one two and oh Claire just barely getting that shoulder up Claire nearly lost the, the title match right there as oh that move off the top rope, one, two, three. That Claire just went off the top rope with that back drop right onto Goth Girl. And then that count, one, two, three, just like that. Goth Girl shocked that she lost like that, but I don't know. You got to wonder about the count. That was a little bit of a suspicious fast count there by Vicious Fixin. But nonetheless, Claire becomes the new Jewel Champion once again. And that's got to be a record. I think Claire has now broken her own record for most Jewel title reigns. And you got to feel a little bit bad for Goth Girl. She's devastated over losing the Jewel Championship like this. But nonetheless, Claire will celebrate this victory probably well into the night. As she now can go to the back, watch the rest of the big game with that Jewel Championship now around her waist or on her shoulder once again.